Sophia Ron. I'm a post baccalaureate associate, and uh, I'm about to show you around. So over here we have Adisa Studio. We collaborated with a group on campus called Adisa Studio. So they came to us for funding for a screen printing machine over here. Over here is the scrapyard, which is the room for low resolution prototyping. So this is space to test things out before going all in. It's a common space to hang out. And so all the furniture is on wheels, so that makes it really easy to move things and organize for different types of events. So this is Studio One. It's one of the classrooms that we have here at the Hive. And so uh, we have currently two classes that are taught in this room. Yeah, so over here in the hallway, we have our timeline. It starts in 1964 and Rick and Susan met. <laughs> um, and then it continues all the way down. So this is the toolbox which is um, a place for higher resolution prototyping than the scrapyard provides. So we have wood and like nails, power drill, sewing machines that um, let you take your initial idea to the next step. Something that we like to call this room is the room of things that probably won't kill you. We're here to help you use them if you do not feel confident to do so. So this is the vault. Um, if you walk in, it's a kind of like atmospheric room made for reflection with really nice lighting to help relax and things like that. Hi, my name is Timothy and uh, I work here at The Hive. I am one of the three post-baccalaureate associates. Um, as far as space goes, we have a number of uh, studios that have mobile furniture, so um, depending on what you're teaching or instructing that day, you can move the furniture around and make the classroom uh, how you think it should be designed. We have a meditation kind of lounge um, where students can come and synthesize their work and do some quiet studying. We have a number of common areas. So one of our principles here at The Hive is to um, encourage an environment for experiment and play. So this is really a, a space for um, students and faculty to dive into new exploratory subjects that haven't really been covered in a traditional curriculum yet. Even if you're um, uh, an economics major or an arts major, it doesn't matter. We think everybody's creative. And through our activities here at The Hive, we hope to um, uh, help students realize that.